Good evening, or good afternoon, good morning, good night, good whatever, good day, wherever you may be across this globe. Hi guys, this is Destiny. I'm doing a very serious video, and I want to get your attention, pay attention. Guys, my beloved brothers and sisters, my family, my friends, my soul tribe, my YouTube subscribers, my Facebook members, my Facebook family and friends, Destiny wants to talk to you today. This video is very serious. Please pay attention. This message is not coming from me, it's coming from the God of the universe, the creator God. You ain't got to listen to me, but you will be held accountable for what you do with this information. It is Tuesday, March 24, 2020. Guys, I got a message and I'm going to give it to you and then what you are going to do with it. I got my notes here. My message is going to come to you and I'm going to give it to you just the way that I receive it. God, the creator of the universe wants to know, are you listening? Are you ready to start listening? Are you ready to start trusting the universe, trusting the God of the universe? Are you ready to just get out of the way so the Creator can do what He has to do? This message I'm going to title Be Still and Know. Did you hear me? Be Still. And no, no guessing about it, no ifs, ands, buts, or maybes about it. You got to know. We have to come to that place of knowing. We hear a lot of things. We go through a lot of things. We experience a lot of things. We say a lot of things, speak a lot of things. We receive a lot of things and information from other people. But what are you receiving? from the creator of the universe. That is who you need to be listening to. That is who you should have your ears turned toward. The messages, the signals, the signs, and the synchronicities of the universe. Ain't nobody gonna have your back the way the universe has your back. Guys, I don't know how serious you are taking this coronavirus disease. It's, it's a serious matter, but like I said, you don't have to give your focus and get all freaked out, all wired up and, and all in a panic that you are shutting down the message that's coming from the universe. Fear not, I gave you that message on Sunday. Fear not, the universe, God says, fear not, I am with you. He can't do a damn thing for you if you keep getting in the way, if you won't be still. You're always up in the way. You're always around trying to take the driver's seat of the creator universe. You're always trying to figure out every plan and everything. Get alongside and be still. And listen. Let me give you this message just like the universe gave it to me. This title is Be Still and Know. The creator God of the universe got this. He got this battle with the coronavirus. <gasps> Didn't that, that surprise you? He got this. You got to trust in him. Trust in him. Lean on him. 
be still and know that he is in control. He has the power over this. He's bigger than corona disease. He's bigger than cancer. He's bigger than your ignorance. He's bigger than your stupidity. He's bigger than all the answers that you got. Because your answers don't mean a hill of beans when it comes down to what God is saying. You hear everything about all the different things that's going around the world, not just the coronavirus, but anything that is negative. We seem like we want to feed into it. We want to add our energy to it. When we take your positive energy and you allow the negative energy to come in and pleat you, then you're going down the down sparrow with negativity. You're going to lose. Guys, we're in a war. We're in a fight. We're in a battle. Gird up your loins. Get ready for the fight. The Creator is not sending out cowards. He's sending out warriors. He's sending out those who will stand up and gird themselves up with the breastplate of righteousness and gird themselves up with the loins where they can strengthen themselves knowing that the battle does not belong to us. The battle is the creator God. This battle is not yours, it is his. This battle is not no one else and all those people that you're listening to and all those people you allowing it to come into your space and giving you all kinds of negativity, creating and breaking you down mentally, emotionally, fearfully, and whatever that is pulling you away from the positivity, the plan of the Creator, you better stand still. You better stand still because He has a plan coming behind all of this. His plan is always right. His plan will never leave us, nor will it forsake us at all. The subject, be still and know. The creator God of the universe got this battle with the coronavirus. Now let's get deeper into this. Let's get the whole wording from the Bible. Okay, we all can agree with the Bible. We know we all pick up that Bible for whatever reason. The Bible, I always tell you, is my blueprint to my higher consciousness self. It's my roadmap to the, the God within me, to the divine creator. The universe that's within me, the heaven of God that is within me, the God consciousness. That is the way that I use my Bible. That is the way the Creator God taught me when He awakened me in this spiritual journey. He is showing me that I am my higher conscious state of being. I'm not my ego. I am not my thoughts. I am not the fears that, I, that people bring around me or that I pick up to receive. I'm not any of those things. I am everything that the Creator God says that I am. And I got to stand in that power and I got to show that I'm a warrior. I am fit for the battle. I'm going in. I'm coming out a winner. I am a champion. I am an overcomer. Guys, we got to get beyond this. I'm not telling you to bury your head and ignore the things that is going on with the coronavirus. No, please take precautions. Be totally serious. But don't give you all of your energy Spending all your time worrying about it, concentrating on it, focusing on it, talking about it. The more you talk about it, the more you focus on it, you're giving that energy to it that is going to create more of what it is. And that is not going to be a good thing. So let's get the whole wording from the Bible. Psalms 46.10. In my spiritual roadmap, my blueprint of the Bible, that's the way that I use it. Psalms 46 and 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When you're still, you can rest a little bit. I mean, you know, we can rest for a while, rest in the assurance of the divine creator. I'm not saying just rest and just lay back and like, eh, you know what? No, no. You got still girded up yourself because you're in a war zone. But you can rest in the power of the almighty creator of God. You know that he got this. He going ahead of you in the front line. He has the breastplate on and we got to dress ourselves up in the breastplate of righteousness. We got to gird up our loins. We got to gird up our feet. 
We're in a war zone, guys. Be still and know that I am God. Now, guys, listen. Let's look at the origin of that word, still. And that word, the origin of that word, it comes from a Hebrew word, meaning to let go or to release. And we always constantly say, letting go of the things that no longer serve me. Do you know what that means? That means that I can let go of it because I know it is in the hand of the plan of the divine creator. He got this and I'm trusting in him. And I know that he is working this out for my good. And I'm going in, but I'm coming out greater than I went in. I am stronger than I was before I went in. I am smarter and wiser before I stepped into it because I trust the plan of the divine creator. I can release and let go. The medium would be best understood to say this, guys. Cause yourself to become restrained or to let go. And I got to get this down a little bit deeper because there's some out there just not getting it, okay? In other words, people, listen, those who are not getting what coming out of Destiny's mouth, listen. In other words, we need to come to a place where we are willing, willing, I'm not saying being pulled and forced by anything, anyone, or anybody, where you are willing to submit yourselves to the divine creator, God of this universe, and acknowledging that he is sovereign, that he is in sovereign control. He got this. And if you trust him with all your might and lean not to your own understanding, God, he'll promise you that he will direct your path. He will direct you away from any disease, any sickness, any fears, any pain, any hurt. He will direct you away from negative people, these negative Vampire energies, the energy vampires, he will direct you away from them. You got this. If you trust in the divine creator. Guys, when we realize that we are truly incapable of controlling life, then we can surrender our will to the will of God. And it may be a matter of finally saying, we trust him. Now let me ask you a question out there. Do you really trust him? Do you really trust him with all your heart? Do you really, really, really lean not to your own understanding, but you trust his plan? Do you trust his word? Do you trust him and all that he has done for you? He has brought you through a lot of things and you have won a whole lot of battles, but you seem to forget the moment when something comes around to bring a fear factor in your life or someone creates something and they advertise it to be so huge and bad that it's going to destroy your life, you forget all about the power of the divine creator. You forget to trust him. You, get to, you forget to lean on the security and the power that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Trust in him. Trust in him with all your might and lean not to your own understanding. Do you trust the creator of God? Do you? I ain't like it. Gird up your coward. Get out of your heads. Get your heads out of the sand. Get out of your fears. Get out of other people's negative minds and get out of other people's ways of thinking. You stand up and say, yes, this may be real, but none of these things move me because I am in the plan. I am in the hand of the divine creator. I am girding up my loins. I'm doing all I need for the creator to guide and direct me through all of this. He will fight for you. He will fight for you, but you got to say, I trust him. I trust him. And we can surrender our will to God's will when we come to the place of trusting him. 
It's a matter of finally saying, God, just say it. If you really truly know that he is bigger than any situation, any problem, anything out here, any disease, anything out here that brings such a trouble or brings such a fear to your life, don't you know you can trust him? If you're doing what he says that you need to be doing and you're walking in the plan and you're girding up your loins, you're speaking positive, you're agreeing with the word of the divine creator, well, what you got to worry about? He's going to take care of you. Trust him. Trusting him will open the door so that we may experience the fullness of all that the creator of God wants and has for us. He has great plans. He has great plans. Just stand still and see the salvation. Be still. After all, guys, He is our creator. He is the creator of this universe. He is the creator of everything within this universe. He created us. In His image, in His likeness, He created us. He molded and He shaped us. And then He took His very breath and He breathed into man. Man became a living soul. We became God. God consciousness. He blew life, the life of his breath into us. So, we have to learn to trust him so we can experience the fullness of all that the creator God wants and has for us. After all, guys, listen. He is our divine creator. He is the universe. He's our infinite intelligence. He's our divine source. He's our energy source. He is the God of this universe. He is the universe. He is in us. We are God consciousness. Trust in the God and lean not to your own understanding. He is our creator, guys, and he has a perfect plan for us when we let him ostracate our lives, when we allow him to rule our lives, when we allow him to lead and guide us, he will lead and guide us in a plain path away from our enemies. Guys, listen. Let me go back on Psalms 46 and 10. Write that down when you go to your Bible and you study it. You love that Bible. Most of y'all, y'all love that Bible. I love it as my guide and my blueprint to my higher conscious state of being. Because the Bible, I, the way the Creator showed me, it leads me to my higher grade of self to the God that's within me. So Psalms 46 and 10. Guys, y'all know this is a popular verse for comforting ourselves and for comforting other people. And many people tend to think that this verse means to rest and relax in who God is. And ain't that is all okay, but we got to do more than the rest and the relaxing. God, we got to grow up our system. I'm telling you, we're in a war fight. We're in a war zone. We're in a battle. Even while we rest and we still have our minds turned toward the universe, turned toward what God is saying, turned toward the to war our enemies because our enemies is coming at us. Never turn your back on your enemy. Even though you're resting, you already have a plan because you already put yourself into the hands and the plan of the Creator. He's going to fight this for you. He's leading this battle and we are riding alongside with Him. Are we resting? Are we relaxing? But our minds are not resting. Our minds are not relaxing. Our minds is already figuring out our next strategy, our strategic plan, so we can take the enemy down because the enemy is coming to pursue you. He's coming to slay you. You better be ready. Gird up your loins. Get out of your fears. Get out of your cowardness. Get out of your hurts. And get out of all these people's head that's feeding you negativity. Psalms 46 and 10, guys. This verse does encourage believers to reflect on who God is. But there is more to this song than one verse. And verse 10 is actually more of a wake up call. Wake up! Wake up! How long have you been hearing that? You 
people who's traveling your spiritual journey, you say you've been awakened to your greater and higher self. Are you really awakened? Wake up! This is actually, guys, more of a wake-up call to be in all than this gentle call to rest. And I know you say, well, we quarantine and we said we can't go nowhere and the stores are closing down and all the business are shut down. We got to sit in the house. Well, you can sit in the house. You ain't got to get out of the street, but your mind don't have to go into a place where you just not planning your strategic fight against this. You don't let it come in and overtake you. You don't let it come in and consume you. It don't come in and just take your mind to a place of positivity, to totally negativity. Now you are created more of a bigger monster because you're feeding into it. Whew. Taking time out of our day, guys, to meditate on scripture and be silent with listening. Be silent with the listening ears. Turn to God, the God of the universe, your creator. Because a lot of the things, you can go back to your Bible, and I go to my spiritual role map, my Bible that I call my spiritual higher blueprint. There are other sections of scriptures, like in Psalms 119, chapter 119, verse 15. Go and check that out. I think it's Psalms chapter 119 verse 15 and I think there's Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 and then uh, over the New Testament I think I recall something over there about Luke chapter 5 16 write them down go look at it for yourself and there's so many others that's telling us God got this be still he's fighting this battle for you but you got to gird up your loins you're in the battle with him He's not there alone. He's going to be in there as long as you in there with him. So go back and read some of those scriptures. I think you can just read them. Psalms chapter 119 verse 15. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Luke chapter 5 verse 16. And we can go on and on. There's a lot. He gave us a warning. He knows what's coming. He knows what what is out there. He knows everything. He knows the mind of man. He knows what man does. He knows what this whole world is already is coming into before it get to that place. Guys, with this command, be still. It's written in the context of a time. When they wrote this here in Psalms 4610, this was written in a time of trouble and was written in a time of war. And guys, ain't no different today. We are in a time of trouble and we're in a time of war. I don't care, it, like I said, it don't necessarily have to be the coronavirus. We are in a total, absolutely war zone with a whole lot of things coming at us all the time and ain't nothing coming at us so it can make us look pretty so it can make us look like we are the, the, the superstars it's coming to whoop your ass and beat you down and take your life and take your energy take your positivity take away your power that the creator has given you as your divine higher conscious self the ego is in a war in a fight with your soul consciousness the ego, your subconsciousness, your lower place that you live in your lower state. That is always that part of you that is selfish, that is fearful, that is dominating and controlling and all that negative stuff is in a war zone. And it's tugging and fighting with your higher self, your soul consciousness. That is what the creator God is calling you to be. He's calling you to your higher, greater self, to your higher, greater version of who you are. You are God consciousness. You are God. Whew. 
we are in a time of trouble. We are in a war, guys. We are in a war. Therefore, guys, listen, we should consider this verse with that context in mind. Whenever you read Psalms 46, 10, then consider that verse with that context in mind. Hey, I'm awakened. I see. I am in a time of trouble. I am living in a time of trouble. I am living in a war zone. So many things are going to continue to come after me. But I'm not afraid. I will fear no evil for the divine creator God is with me. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, what do I have to fear? Fear not, he said, for I am with you. I will withhold you with my righteousness, my right hand. Gird up your loins. I'm here to fight for you. As long as you stick with me in the battle, I'm going to not just leave you in the battle. I'm taking you through it. You got this. You are coming out of this. But you got to stay focused. You got to keep your eyes lifted to the hill when it's coming to help. Your help coming from the divine creator, God. He got this. You are in a war zone. You are in trouble, a troubled place. You are in a place where there's so many negativity of fears and so many things are around you that people want to break you down to nothing. So they can rob you of the victory that God has created. So they can rob you of your joy. So they can rob you of your health, your hope, your happiness. So they can rob you of everything that God wants you to be your greater and higher authentic self. You are God. You got the power. Fear of false evidence appearing real. God is real. He's bigger than all of this stuff, guys. Guys, instead of interpreting, be still as a gentle suggestion. Get this now, get this, get this, get this. The meaning in this song lends itself more to cease striving or stop. Stop striving. Or more specifically in this context, he's telling you, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Okay? Which is directed toward the enemies of the people of God. The people of God should interpret it, this command for themselves to read more like this. Now listen. Snap out of it. Wake up. Get up on your feet. You know what I'm saying? You got this. Your creator God got you. You are more than a conqueror. You are an overcomer. You are an achiever. You are powerful. You are super dynamic. That's what we should be saying. Wake up. Stop fearing. God got this. He promised you. He got this. Snap out of it. Get out of it. That's how we should be. We, we out here that saying that we trust God, we believe in God, that we believe in the power of the words of God. That's what we should be out here saying. Not feeding into what our, our enemies are feeding us and, and, and lying down with our enemies in fear and, and allow the enemies to take our victory, take our power, take our control that the creator of God has created us to be our greater, higher self. I am more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. None of these things move me. You should say none of these things move you. Wake up. Snap out of it. Stop fearing. Acknowledging who your God is, the creator of the universe, your divine power, your higher source, your energy source, your infinite intelligence. Realize and acknowledge that he got this. Acknowledge who God is. And then you stand in all. I'm standing in all of him. Because I know he's greater than all situations. I know he's greater than my fears. I know he's greater than the people who come to beat me down. My enemies who come to war against me. All the things that come after me. The sickness and diseases and all this negativity. He's greater than all of that. He's greater than me. He's greater than you. He's greater than everything. He got this. He got this whole world. This universe. 
in his control. If you stand with him and you see the salvation, if you stand and be still, you know that he has this, you, you win. You will come out of this victorious. Be still. Be still. Snap out of it. However, it is good to note that there is nothing wrong with the words in this translation when it said be still. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying, but we got to gird up our minds in a powerful way. We just can't just be so gentle and so smudgy over. No, I got to stand up with some excitement. I got to stand up with some decoration. I got to stand up with some clarity so I can let the people know my voice is being heard. That I am not afraid. I am not fearful. Because God told me, be not afraid. Fear not, for I am with you. He's with me. He's with you. So this translation of the word be still, guys, no, those words are not incorrect. It is simply helpful to note the content of the phrase. Just pay attention. But guys, verse 10 of Psalms 46, verse 10, it has something to say to both the enemies of God and to the people of God. But it is the people of God that this psalm is written to. It's for you. It's for you. You soul consciousness people, you, your God-fearing people, your higher consciousness self people, your kingdom of God is in you people. It's for you. Not for your enemies. Woo, I don't know where I come from, creator, but this is how you're giving it to me. I'm at a place where right now what you gave me, you're pouring more of that out. And uh, I surrender. You just use me. Woo. You, you are taking me in the deep place. Woo. Guys, listen. Verse 1 of Psalms 46 starts like this. God is our refuge and strength. That's emphasis. Added that, add the emphasis on it. God is my refuge. My refuge. Refuge and strength. 